Hey, everybody. Welcome to VaynerX Presents, Marketing for the Now. Gary, how are you doing? I'm quite well. Andrea, how are you? I am good. I'm always excited for these episodes, but I think this one is going to be a particularly juicy one. <laughs> First up, entertainer, tech entrepreneur, and philanthropist, Will I Am. Welcome. Will, what's good? Good to be here. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, what's good, Gary? It's so nice to see you. I mean, look, we only have 10 minutes. I've come to learn these go quickly. So knowing that every single person knows exactly who you are, I get to actually go right into it, which is the question this uh, month is, where are you trying to innovate in 2021? Before I let you answer that, you know, we had, I had such a great pleasure of spending meaningful time with you when we deplanted the apps years ago. And I've always watched you from afar and always knew how uncomfortably creative you are. Um, and, but, the, but it's interesting, you've taken that into a realm of innovation that doesn't just sit in the arts, it kind of goes into the tech kind of sphere. So I'm dying, I'm like, I'm like this is actually a fun one for me because I literally have no idea what's about to come out of your mouth, so let's get right into it. What are you trying to innovate in 2021, my man? Um, I'm trying to innovate on how I work better with my team and what we work on and how we work, right? So COVID-19 told us that society is super fragile. Our whole lives, we thought that nothing could stop the world, unitedly stop the world. Business stop, school stop, like what? I never even thought that was possible. <laughs> so it, it changed the way we worked. Now we're, we're Zooming. And the phone is like the center point to all of our, like we thought the phone was important before COVID. The phone is like the most important tool in our life. But, you know, is it the best way to work? The tools that we have now, is it the best way for musicians and different teams? Like are the tools that we have optimized for that? Like were they made before COVID thinking of the way the world is now, or is it we just ran to tools that were ready available? Um, and now corporations, they know that, you know, the world is probably never gonna go back the way it used to be. We will always and continue to work from our homes, in our apartments, from our cars, even when the world opens back up. And so I want to, I really want to, to participate in that, in that space and, and make you awesome tools well, for folks. Will, when you think about that, do you, you know, it's funny, I think people are gonna hear that and they're gonna go one of two ways. I actually think now that we've been educated on the sheer scale of online video and capabilities, that this actually lends itself to a better work-life balance reality, not the reverse. I exactly. listen to a lot of friends who think it's the other way and I'm like, no, 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 you're in control in a way that you know, you're, you're, you're succumbing to the way your company's reacting right this second. Take a bigger step back, go broader. You know, I know for me, the, you know, uh, my daughter having a basketball game that I now can do the meeting that's like so darn important, I think, at a coffee shop across from the gym that she's gonna play at that day and not feel that anxiety of like rushing out and being stuck in traffic. Like there's so many hacks I can think of. Travel that I know I'm not gonna have to do thoughts on us being educated by this as a leading indicator to better balance, not the reverse. Thoughts? Yeah, and I, I um, but I believe like another tool's coming because I, I it's not, I, there's still pain points with the tools that we have now. And, and, and more importantly, like there's inner city kids that are not a part of that conversation. Mm -hmm. They're not a part of like, there's inner city kids right now dreaming to be LeBron James and that kid is like 5'7". There's a kid that's 5'5 five five right now dreaming to be Jordan and, and, and the next LeBron James. He's probably not going to do that. But he's still <laughs> dreaming. He's still dreaming and practicing because there's, there's a lot of people like him that come from where he comes from that have made it, you know, Spud Webb. There's, there's other you know, shorties that have made it. Muggsy but Bogues, big that, shout out. Muggsy Bogues, you know? Um, there, there's some kid right now in the hood 
in the inner city dreaming about being the next Travis Scott. They're dreaming about being the next like Dr. Dre and Kendrick Lamar. And that's awesome. That's freaking great. But there's not a kid in the inner city. There's not that many kids in the inner city dreaming about being Elon, dreaming about being the developer that created, you know, awesome tools at Facebook. That there, how do how do I how do I innovate? to the point where it changes the construct of what people from the hood dream towards and you, raising money please. raising money for a company that's that turns out to be easier than raising money to educate people like raising money for artificial intelligence is easier than raising money for human intelligence let's talk about ai ar vr just because i know you're this kind of thinker you know, I love that you got to put those last five sentences together because I know what kind of sense of responsibility and kind of driver that is for you because every time we get to hang private public, it's huge. When you see somebody that does it that looks like you, it just changes everything. But for two seconds, since I got four minutes with you and you're such a big thinker, AI, AR, VR, overlay to what's going on with NFT, any hot takes from any of those things I just put down? So AI... Look at look at all companies that boomed um, during COVID. They're all companies that are investing heavily in AR. Amazon, uh, Apple, no, they're heavy companies that are in investing heavily in AI. Amazon, Apple, Facebook, Google, so Salesforce. So what does that mean? That means they have so much money to expand their research and build awesome AI tools. So what is AI and VR or AI and AR? What does that mean? That means you're going to be in these environments in 2030 that you're going to work in these spaces. You're going to, and, and, there, and AI is going to render a lot of jobs obsolete. Like if you're, if you're an Uber driver, maybe in 2030, you're not an Uber driver, right? If you're, if you're a, a deliver, if you're delivering, you know, packages, you're, probably not that many package deliverers in, uh, in 2030. But there's going to be so many jobs that we can't even imagine. 100%. And where is that coming from? Well, I real think... quick, just because I, I apologize to stop your flow, I just want to make sure people are following. Is your, is your, when you say 2030, are you saying self-driving cars and drone innovations gives you the intuition to say, hey, nine years from now, shit's going to change? Yo, yo, yo. Nine years from now, you know that the coal mining jobs that people were like are still hurting to bring back? The conversation that we're gonna be having in 2030 is like, yo, my truck driving job, my delivery driving job, my Uber drop, there's gonna be so much noise around mm -hmm. the displacement of of of, of jo human jobs. People because I don't think people realize how many people are in the transportation job market. Yo, tons. to your point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like it's a huge market and it's about to get like dude, like trust. So what does that mean? <laughs> right? What does that mean? Like I, I've been do I've had my school in the ghetto that I'm from in Boyle Heights for eleven years, teaching our kids robotics, computer science, uh, and and getting them on track to go to college. And we have a GoFundMe um um campaign right now. It's GoFundMe backslash I am Angel. And I am angel because we got one, we got one minute here. We got to keep it tight. So slash I so am angel, right? I, I am angel. Sure and, keep going. And the reason and the reason why we're doing that is to make sure that kids can fill jobs. Not only that, but be a part of the conversation to create jobs. So so tying up like what I want to innovate. I want to innovate the aspirations coming out of inner city kids. Not only innovate like you know, that's a big that's a big hoop dream, but putting in the work, mentoring, bring folks from like Boeing. We have mentors that come from Boeing to mentor our kids, from NASA to mentor our kids. I got a kid going to Brown, uh, Dartmouth. I got a kid going to uh, Georgetown, Stanford. Like I started with 65 kids, now I have 1,200 kids. Well, I appreciate your creativity, your innovation, but most of all, your humanity. I love you, bro. Talk soon. Love you too.